Welcome back, art lovers. Today we are counting down the top 10 most expensive paintings sold at Fry's Soul 2024. The art world was buzzing with excitement. So let's dive into the masterpieces that commanded the top dollar. Mind you, some of the names of these paintings have not been disclosed yet. At the end of this video, I'll be leaving some honorable mentions for the names of paintings that were not disclosed. And I'll update you in another video as soon as the names of these paintings have been disclosed. Kicking off our list at number 10 is Robert Navas' untitled painting from Pace Gallery. Navas' dynamic and raw style blends fantastical creatures with abstract forms. This imaginative work sold for an impressive 185,000 US dollar. Next up at number 9, we have Salvo's enchanting landscape from Gladstone Gallery, known for its poetic narrative driven works. This piece brought in 150,000 US dollar. It's a beautiful blend of Italian heritage and modern artistry. At number 8, we have Angel Otero's stunning work from Hauser and Wyth. Otero is famous for his deconstructed paintings that blend memory with personal history. And this piece found a new home for a remarkable 285,000 US dollar. Sliding into number 7 is Nicolas Pate's Triptych with Red Forest. This colorful and surreal landscape from House and Wyth was sold for 350,000 US dollar. Pate's signature pastels continued to captivate collectors around the globe. At number 6, Avery Singer takes the spotlight with her mesmerizing piece, Free Fall, which sold for 575,000 US dollar. Known for blending digital technology with traditional painting, this Hauser and Wyth artist is one of the most innovative voices in contemporary art. Halfway through our countdown at number 5 is the ever-popular Takashi Murakami. His vibrant and larger-than-life work, sold at Periton, fetched a cool 600,000 US dollar. Murakami's blend of traditional Japanese art and pop culture always makes a big splash. At number 4, the minimalist Master Lee Ufan comes in with a serene and contemplative painting sold by Pace Gallery for 1.2 million US dollar. Lee's work is all about the balance between materials and space, creating a meditative experience for viewers. Taking the bronze medal in our top 10 is the incomparable George Kando, known for his surreal and often chaotic portraits. Self-Portrait 2024 was snapped up by a private collector for 1.95 million US dollar at Sput Megas. Kando continues to challenge the boundaries of modern portraiture. Securing the second spot is Nicola Pate once again, this time with his spectacular portrait with curtains. This dreamlike masterpiece sold for an astonishing 2.5 million US dollar at Hauser and Wyth. Blending classical portraiture with a modern twist, which makes this painting the most expensive painting sold at Fry's Soul 2024. The number one spot on the list goes to Lois Bourgeois for her fabric and marble sculpture titled Farm 2023. Although this piece isn't a painting, it was sold at Hauser and Wyth for a seven figure sum in USD, making it the most expensive work at Fry's Soul 2024. So while Bourgeois' sculpture takes the crown, the highest price painting was Nicolas Pate's portrait with curtains, which sold for 2.5 million US dollar. Here are some honorable mentions. George Baslight's Iron Pilgaroth 2023 found a new home for 1 million pounds, thanks to Tadios Ropa Gallery. Iconic sculptor Robert Indiana's Love Sculpture also sold for $550,000 by Pace Gallery. Anthony Gumley's sculpture sold for £550,000 by a white cube. Two Damien Hayes pieces sold for $550,000 each. And Smith's work sold for $215,000 by Hauser and Wyth. Martha Jungwith 2024 painting sold for £300,000. Baxiobo's equature with the number code 220905 went for $250,000 and Gabriel Orozco's piece was priced at $250,000 all making free soul one to remember. My name is John Snatchetta. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.